So we just landed in Africa and there is some wild hog riders in that forest. Why is he running? Does he want my offering? Oh my, yo, this is scary. What the? Hello? Oh my, hi. He then turned his back on me and went deep into the jungle. So after leaving, I wanted to beat Clash Royale and go from zero to 5,000 trophies only using African cards in order to honor my long lost friend Monkey. And African cards being all the goblins and cards which are black. I let's waste another day of my life beating Clash Royale, but a small difference. We are beating Clash Royale in Algeria, no joke. Look outside my window, isn't that beautiful? So we started pushing through training camp and came up with this beautiful name. What's your name? African Cycle. We then passed the hardest arena, training camp. Arena one, let's go. We can unlock the African house, the prison, and these two sexy looking green dudes. Hold on a minute. How do I unlock them without chess? I right, screw it. 18 gems. Let's go. Come on, goblins. Goblins. Uh. So we started pushing to Arena 2 with no goblin cards. Bang. But shortly after, we unlocked the first goblin card. We can unlock goblins or spear goblins. I think I'm going to do the African British dudes. But somehow this happened. When did I unlock them both? These sneaky goblins just sneaked into my card collection. Spear goblins instead of archers. Goblins instead of knight. After some more pushing, we then unlock this. And we can unlock one of these. Let's go for African Andrew Tate. Instead of Mummy Musketeer. We were then one game away from Arena 2 and I decided to do this. Guys, let's play a game. So I have a goblin over here. And for every mistake my opponent does, I have to suck him. Let's see. I mean, that's not a dumb play. That's just aggressive, I'd say. Uh, uh, yo, low key. Huh? Okay, that was a dumb play. One dumb play. Okay. That was a dumb play too, man. This for the mini pecker. Prediction mini pecker. Okay. Oh, those goblins, man. Those goblins. GG. Wait, what? And Arena 2. We then unlock this. Oh! We unlock the Goblin Hut. Let's put it instead of Fireball. While pushing to Arena 3, this came in the shop. Look at all of this. Oh my. Oh man, all of these offers are insane. And thanks to them, I was able to make my Goblin Cage over leveled. Level 10 Goblin Cage. And after upgrading some cards, we push to Arena 3. Level 10 Goblin Cage. We're gonna ignore that mini pecker. Giant, let's see the level 10 brawler. Let's see him, he's going there. Oh, he too shotted that. He too shotted his brother. Oh, my God. He fireballs, let's go mini peckers. Here goblins. And just like that. Arena three. We then passed Arena four quicker than me hiding the evidence from the police. Arrows quick. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Look at those goblins. Oh, yes. And Arena 4. We then got these insane offers in the shop. Oh, oh, giant chess. 150 gems. What are these offers, bro? Please, goblins. Perfect. Teams to no, no. We don't want to be seeing that. Goblins, 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 goblins. Fireballs will take that, but we want goblins, please. Oh, give me some goblins, for God's sake. What is my luck? What is my luck? Not a single goblin in all of these five chests. We then bought this. We are getting the diamond pass. Oh. <laughs> Evolve Knight. Technically, we can use the Evolve Knight since we haven't completed the African cycle. With the Evolve Knight, getting to Arena 5 was easy. Spear goblins. Go to spear goblins. They're, they're taking that tower down. Oh. Now we go with Evolve Knight. Wizard. Look at the Evolve Knight. He's just tanking. I think he gave up. No, he didn't. Look at that one goblin. The Evolve Knight is tanking for the goblin. The Evolve Knight is tanking for the goblin. Look at it. Oh. The goblin. Ah, oh, GG. And. Arena.
five. We then unlock the best African card. 20 black men. Not only I'm buying hog riders in the game, but I'm also buying hog riders in real life. Hog rider is gonna be the new win condition. The deck was stronger than my left nut, and we made it to arena six super quickly. Oh, he wastes his bomb tower. The hog rider there? It should not go to the bomb tower. It should. Yes! Yes, the hog rider goes to Africa. And one juicy connection. He fireballs. How do you miss that? Come on, Jamal. Where's it to snipe the bomb tower? Yes! Oh, that was a beautiful wizard. Ah, look at the hog. Oh, look at the hog. Oh, yes, and the wizard splash. And the speed goblins. Finish that tower. Finish Jamal. Ah, oh, yes. And Arena 6, here we come. And we can unlock the barrel. And thanks to a special offer, we got it right after. And we just bought all of this stuff. And more importantly, the goblin barrel. Low key, goblin barrel instead of night. Oh yeah, and after a while, I added Witch and Pekka to the deck, but getting to Arena 7 was a bit complicated. Level 12 Baby Dragon, this guy's more of a level than me. Pekka the Evolved Knight. And Skeletons, I can't do nothing. That's the problem with this deck, it has no small spell. I can't stop those Skeletons. I literally can't stop those Skeletons, I can't do nothing, bro. But I replaced Pekka for arrows, and we made it to Arena 7. Just end this game already. Why are you still defending? It's GG, bro. He has a full Barbarians? Can we go for an arrow cycle? 78 plus 78. My man has a full Barbarians and is losing. 78, that's 146. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on a goddamn minute. Spear Goblins? Nah, I think we're good. That was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, that one goblin. One more, one more, one more. Yes! Arena 7, here we come. I'm seeing lots of British people over here, but no African cards. But you know what I was thinking? Let's buy this emote because it's a goblin and it suits the challenge. Look at it, so cute. We then climbed to Arena 8 with the same deck and the last game was tense. Let's activate King Tower. Perfect. No! No, the hog, the hog, the hog, the hog. No! It's fine, we'll take inside the tower down. Watch this 100 IQ play. Distract with the hog rider. Perfect. No, he throws arrows. Okay. One more hit. Ah. Oh, he puts a pecker. Okay, hog rider gets a connection. Hold on. This is getting scary. This is getting actually scary. Okay, there. Arrows. Goblins. <laughs> okay. Wizard, witch. Oh no, 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 that hog, that hog, okay. Arrows for the goblins and all those goblin huts. Oh, that's still not gonna arrive. Hold on, look at the goblins. Okay, 200 HP, okay, now we just got defend, now we just got defend. Okay, goblin cage for that. He has fireball, I don't think that's enough, I don't think that's enough. Distract with the hog, I don't think the fireball is enough. 500 HP, yeah, that's not enough. Arrows is not enough. Hog rider might connect. Oh, and he says, well played. Now. Arena 8, here we go. We then got this insane offer. Hold on a minute. One million gold. One million. Dude, for five pounds. We are rich. We then climbed to Arena 9 with the same deck, but it was all about to change. Hog Rider, Goblin Barrel. Arrows prediction on the score, me. I thought we didn't catch it. And now goblins die. Oh. Hog rider goblin barrel, the best African duo. Arrows prediction again. Oh. No way he does this again. I don't think I don't think he's gonna do it again. Yeah, he learned, but who cares? <laughs> arena 9 jungle arena! We then got lots of African cards from a special offer. The dangerous African gang. Oh, the dog goblin, the man from the forest. And the big mom without a father. Oh, man. We gotta get rid of mummy witch. Wait. And that means we have to get rid of the mini spell too. Should I use goblin gang? Mm, nah, screw it. Thanks to the special offer, we were able to make the Goblin Giant, Dark Goblin, and Goblin Gang overleveled, and we finalized the deck. Never mind, level 10, 
Let's use them instead of spear goblins. Pushing with our spells was a bit annoying, but the African Psycho deck was actually good and we made it to Arena 10 pretty quickly. Now we go Goblin Mother here. You know what? Let's go with a triple African win condition. We're gonna go with Hog Rider. Actually, Dog Goblin to snipe. Okay. Look at that Dog Goblin, I swear. The Dog Goblin is so beautiful. Oh, now it's gonna kill all the minions. Look at that. Another Hulk Rider shredding next to that mother. Oh, look at that tower down. We're going for the three crown. I swear this deck is so overpowered. Wait, goblins protect. Look at the dog goblin. Boo, they're literally shredding everything. Another, I swear I've been three crowning everyone, bro. Arena 10, here we go. But guys, I'm not joking. Look at this. Three crown, three crown, two crown, three crown, three crown, three crown, three crown. I've been destroying everyone with African Cycle. And just want to say quick shout out to my friend Swimmy for trading cards with me and helping me with the challenge. I, we got 250 Goblin Gangs. Let's do one more trade. And another shout out to my clan for donating so many Goblin Gangs. Spam requesting, here we go. So we need 1,000 more Goblin Gangs. Let's go. So we spent a few minutes just spam requesting by using gems and we got over 1,000 Goblin Gangs. Request Goblin Gang, come on. And one more, the last one. Request 42 gems, Goblin Gang. And that's the final 40, let's go. Level 12. We can buy the Book of Commons. Level 13, Goblin Gang, yes sir. Pushing to Arena 11 was easy. And I came up with this idea for the final game. For the final game, should we do Goblins only? Spear Goblins instead of Hog Rider. And this is how it went. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. As soon as that wizard connects to the tower, we do this. We distract. Okay. And now we go Goblin. Why does he have a witch too? This is such a hard matchup. And he has a Skarmy too. I can't kill the Skarmy. Oh, we're going to struggle. We're going to struggle. We're going to struggle. Offensive wizard, are you serious? Okay, let's goblin cage. That's the only thing I have for that wizard. And let's punish him with a goblin barrel when that goblin brawler comes to my side. Perfect, that's gonna distract. Perfect timing. And I think that's tower. Oh, yes, that's tower. Oh, wait, he has wizard. He has, please. Two, yes. I caught the wizard. I caught the wizard. I need to take his tower down. He's gonna fireball cycle. But GG. Arena 11, here we come. And we can unlock the mother of africa we then tried unlocking her mommy ram rider not the hard word second attempt mother ram rider not mommy sparky third attempt mommy ram rider come on yes yes, yes. ram rider instead of spear goblins and hog rider instead of this we then got lots of legendary wild cards from the shop <gasps> legendary wild cards and thanks to them, we made our Ram Rider level 13. Upgrade. Yes, sir. This is beautiful. And level 26. We then climbed to Arena 12 fairly quickly. First play. I don't even care. First play. Hog Rider, Ram Rider. I don't even care, bro. He's got cannon. Skeletons. The Ram Rider's just going to eat all of that. Ice Spirit. Come on, connect. Ah, yes. Okay. Let's go for a Goblin Giant. Offensive Goblin Giant. Did he give up? Is this is this how we're getting to Arena 12? Waka waka, eh eh, Samina. Wait, hold on, I might get copyrighted. Arena 12, we can unlock Earthquake. Technically, that's an African card because it's really hot here. And after opening some chests, then... hey, we just unlocked the Earthquake. And no offense to Daddy Hog Rider, I love you, but. There's too many win conditions in this deck, and you're the most underleveled one. Earthquake was really useful to kill all the swarms, and we kept on clapping everyone and got to Arena 13 quickly. He goes for Peck at the back first play. Dark Goblin. Oh no, this is not good. Okay, Ram Rider here to distract and to defend. Okay, that Ram Rider was good. Pekka's destroyed. Which isn't spawning skeletons, I mean, so far. Goblin Barrel and Skarmy Prediction. Oh! 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 
Goblin giant dog goblin in the pocket. He won't expect it. Dog goblin destroyed that tower. Look at that pecker. That was a horrible pecker. Oh, how is he reaching from there? And almost second tower. Let's put a ram rider there. That hog rider wasn't that good in my opinion. Okay, we'll just put some goblins for that. Should stop everything. Goblin gang here to kill that. We took the other tower down. And now we're gonna go for Goblin Barrel, Goblin Giant, and an Earthquake here. No way he's gonna put Skarmy again. AGAIN! Bro, I'm a Skarmy prediction god. Oh. I then kept pushing and we faced so much Mega Knight. Okay, let's turn on the King Tower. Goblins just like that. And Dark Goblin just like that. And we activate Daddy King Tower. And after, I unlocked Mega Knight and came to this realization. Guys, you know what? Mega Knight is African. Well, you might be wondering how. Well, according to me, he is African. I'm not giving any explanations as to why I did that. Now, I'm just joking. I only used him for the final game to Arena 14. Bro, why does everyone here love to use Mega Knight? We're going with my Mega Knight. Guys, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to come clean. Mega Knight is no African. I, <laughs> I just wanted an excuse to use him, man. <laughs> Ram Rider to slow the Hog Rider down. Mega Knight Dog! What was that dog goblin there? Nice log. Now he has no log to kill my goblin barrel. And GG, just like that. And sensational win. Arena 14. We then opened some chests and got the final possible goblin card. Give me your goblin drill, bro. We've opened. So, yes, finally. Finally, the goblin drill. Anyways, the Mega Knight was for just one game. Goodbye, Mega Knight. And after countless hours of pushing, we won the final game to 5,000 trophies. All right, Hog first play. Pekka, he goes Pekka. That's not something I want to be seeing right now. The Dark Goblin in the back. Goblin Gang up high. We got this. Okay, let's put Goblin Giant to tank for the um, Goblin thing. Okay, perfect. Oh, no. Okay, wait, my, my phone's in light. Okay. Please don't log, please don't. Oh, what a beautiful log by my uh, opponent here. That was the most sensational log I've seen in my life. Now we go for a double black man in the pocket. Oh, the woman and men charging straight in. He puts a pecker. Got the hog still get a hit. Look at the run rider slowing that pecker down. Oh, and it still gets another hit. Dark Goblin here. Okay, this is gonna be to kite and distract the wizard. What was that freeze? Beautiful freeze. That's gonna kill the wizard, hopefully. Beautiful defense. Oh, what a, what a uh, defense. Now we go for a defensive goblin draw, penetrate that black man. Oh, yes. And let's see if we can get another sensational log. Come on. Let's see your log. I bet he's gonna log like, let's even have log. What a beautiful guards. Those were the most beautiful guards I've seen in my life. Hog Rider at the back. What a beautiful freeze. I don't know what the point of it was. Four win conditions. Okay, he goes for a Pekka. Nothing that I cannot deal with. Look at it. Everything just bypasses the Pekka. Bye bye, Pekka. Goblin Barrel. We got like 80 win conditions on the tower right now. Oh, the African win condition. The destroying and slay. We have officially completed the challenge. Let's go, Miners Mine. I love Miners. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Comment down, Africa, if you made it this far. And quick thing, apparently only 5% of people can subscribe with their knuckle. I'm done for today. I'm gonna go find some water. Peace out.